Welcome to the Lead Automation Channel. This might be the first time you've ever seen us. We do automation and robotics, but you're probably here to see how to get your phone connected to a wireless router. Maybe you just bought a new router or you just got one from a, a cable service provider, internet provider. And so I just wanna show you guys how to access that, that router and show you a couple different methods. Uh, we have another video that's out, so check out that video if you haven't already uh, regarding kind of the same topic. You should be able to search probably the same thing you searched or something relatively close close to what you search to find this video. But uh, I'm gonna start, we're gonna go ahead and jump into, the, into my phone right now. Boom, here you can see I have internet, I'm logged into the website, and I have access. So one thing that's gonna be a little bit different that I'll show you guys in this video. Uh, first of all, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our internet settings. Okay, notice I have here, I have my mobile data turned off. So you either gotta make sure you turn off your mobile data or the other thing that you can do is just put your phone in airplane mode. Uh, so you can just hit your airplane mode right here. Uh, and, and that'll do the same thing, but however, if you, th if you hit the airplane mode, uh, then it's also gonna turn off your Wi-Fi. Notice your Wi-Fi just shut off. So you'll have to come back in here and turn your Wi-Fi back on. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Now you can just, just turn off your data. It's the easiest way to go about it, but you can turn airplane mode off if you think there's any other uh, things that are causing a conflict with being able to connect to the device. So now that we've connected to the internet, uh, I'm gonna show you kind of the most simple way first. So uh, on, on your phone, uh, it, it can be different depending on what phone you have, but uh, like so say for example, there might be some advanced settings here that you can look for, uh, or there's also a edit button right here. And, and notice there's some advanced options here. We're gonna get into those here in a second, but the first thing I want to show you is the very, the most simple way to get connected, and that most simple way is to scroll down, and, and notice we're already connected to the network. We, ha we actually have internet access, so you just seen that I, I was on the web, on our website, and I had internet access, um, but now we're gonna go to, so we're gonna scroll down, and this could be different on, on other phones, so you might have to search for these settings, but notice how you can see the IP address and you can see the gateway. That gateway should be your wireless router. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold that down, I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm gonna go over to the web browser, so in this case, Chrome. Um, I'm gonna then click on that and paste this in. We're gonna hit go, and we'll see what we get, boom. Here you go, we just got granted access. Now, if you don't know this login right here, uh, generally it's gonna be like admin, password, admin, admin. Just look on the internet for default password. Like, So like, I'll just give you an example, a live example. We have this Xfinity. I don't even know if that's the actual name of this thing as far as the uh, brand name. I'm gonna go to Gemini, because I've done this before and it's actually a little bit easier. Xfinity. Uh, default login search okay default login credentials for Xfinity routers are admin and password password it's important to note that all of the factory settings blah blah blah, blah. okay so <clears throat> let's go ahead and go back here and try it and we'll just see if we can log in. This is not my router, so I probably shouldn't be logging into this thing, but we're gonna do it anyway. Hashtag IT security, admin, password. Log in. Do, do, do. Alert, you are using default password. Please change the password. So current password, new password, re-enter. I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna cancel and then go back. So um, there you go. That's the most simple way to log in and, and, and get access. Now, sometimes that won't work. And so I need to show you why that doesn't work sometimes. Uh, and sometimes you have to manually find out what your IP address is. And so I can also go over here back to Gemini and say default uh, or we'll actually do this in an Xfinity default IP address. And so this is 
This 192.168.1.1 is a very common IP address for a lot of devices. So it's highly likely you can try this 192.168.1.1 and that might be it. Also 192.168.0 is also uh, 0.1 is also likely to be it. Uh, but notice how it says 10.0.0.1. So for example, if I did not know uh, what this would be if I didn't know what the IP address was and for some reason I, I First of all, I wouldn't even know how to type that in without going to, to my settings over here uh, And finding that out, but if so if I didn't know uh, That information or if I couldn't find that information one thing you can do is go settings and now this is a more advanced thing and, and depending on your cell phone it might be different, but you need to find your advanced uh, network settings so sometimes there might be some advanced option down here. Sometimes like IP address, you can hold it and, and it'll say edit. For the Pixel phone, uh, you just hit this edit button up here. So it's kind of strange like where this one's at. And then you gotta hit advanced options. When you get advanced options, you still don't have a lot of options, but these IP settings right here, if you change these IP settings to static, boom. Now you have your IP address right here. You have your gateway, and so what you need to do is you need to paste in that gateway there, and then you need to come up here and you need to, I'll, I'll just paste in that gateway again, and you need to change this last uh, octet, I believe that's what you call this, is oct octet, to like, uh, I'll say 123. Now, if there's anything critical on the network, don't change this without uh, knowing like everything that's on the network because it can cause some major issues, so. Just keep that in mind. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Just save. Boom, no internet access. So I did lose internet access and this should still work. So let me just go over here and try this again. Make sure we still have access. Boom, so I just refresh the page. We still have access. Uh, so that's with static IP address settings. So just keep that in mind. That may be the way that you have to go about uh, logging in. Uh, to, to your router is by changing your settings automatically. Again, we went through some of the other things. You have to make sure that uh, your your mobile data is off because if your mobile data is on, I think it, after you connect the first, like if, if you're connected like right now and for some reason now you need internet again uh, through the static IP option, I believe now you can turn on your data. So actually I put it on airplane mode a minute ago, so I gotta turn airplane mode off. Okay, notice my data is coming back. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is actually not gonna work. So when I go to refresh the page, if I'm not mistaken, I won't be able to access this. I'm kinda waiting for these exclamation marks to go away from my, uh, from my data to make sure that I'm fully connected to data. So like you don't see 5G, you don't see anything there. So let me just go ahead and refresh it once and see what happens. Okay, so I still got connected. I wonder why, why is my data not coming back? Oh, my data's still off, that makes sense. Okay, my data's still off. So now I'm definitely 100% connected, let's refresh. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm not gonna be able to connect right now. It's gonna throw a fault. Okay, it didn't throw a fault. The reason why it didn't throw a fault is because generally after you connect to a device, then you're good. You don't have to, uh, there, there's no issues with like being able to connect. So like I'll show you an example of like what should definitely cause a problem. So I disconnected from the Wi-Fi. I went back to here, 100% it's not gonna, not gonna connect now because I'm not even connected to the inter the Wi-Fi at all anymore. I just wanna wait, so that way you guys can see. You notice it's still loading over here, still loading. So. I want to show me the failure page. I guess it's gonna load forever and just not show me a, a timeout page. Time out on me, dude. Maybe if I go back to our website. Okay, back to our website. And then, let's see. And I don't want to do that. I was already on the 
website. So now uh, I just typed in that IP address again. Again, it's not gonna take me there. It's definitely not gonna take me there because I'm not even connected to the Wi-Fi. Uh, let's go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, now we're connected. So this is the your connection interrupted. So it did take me right back. But also if you go and look, I'm also still connected here. Uh, da, da, da. We're not connected. My IP address settings are still here the same. Uh, so if I go like, let's see. change this back to DHCP, save. Also, you'll want to change this back to DHCP or else you may have issues with your internet uh, functioning. Let me go over here. I'm going to refresh. I think it's still going to work fine. And then let me go over here, disconnect from the internet again. It's plausible that it, I, it won't show this mistake, but this is going to be a lot of issues that people are seeing. Is the same issue that I'm trying to simulate right now. But a lot of times after you connect to a device one time, or at least like in this instance, if like I tried to reconnect again in like two days or something, or I restarted the power on my phone, it wouldn't reconnect. So it's still allowing me to reconnect. Um, which again, this is not always the case. A lot of times if you're not able to connect, the issues that I showed you uh, are the reasons why you won't be able to connect. So just check all those things and you should be able to get connected and then go in here and change your settings. I'm not gonna go into like how to change individual settings on your router because everyone's gonna be different. Just kind of Google, you know, whatever brand that you have or model number that you have and then from there you should be able to figure it out. Uh, hopefully this video helped you out. Let me know if there's anything missing from this video that, that you needed to, to be able to figure this out or if this kind of just solved all the problems that you had. Uh, again, thank you for watching and if you're into like robotics automation, feel free to subscribe and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.